Hey guys, I have here with me on the left the Apple MacBook Pro, the summer 2012 release, and then the uh, ThinkPad T430 over on the right hand side, which was released earlier in the spring of 2012. Um, just kind of wanted to talk about these a little bit today, do a quick comparison. I know that uh, fans of ThinkPads and MacBooks are quite passionate about uh, their existing uh, machines, so uh, <clears throat> you know, I think uh, I think both are great uh, great products and. Uh, of course, uh, people have preferences for one or the other for different reasons. Um, and I just kind of wanted to uh, give a comparison of these two. So if you're in the market for a portable laptop, which these both are, being 13 and 14 inch laptops, and a professional, uh, well-built laptop, then these both fit the profile. So uh, let's kind of just take a look at these today. Now, as far as build quality goes, the MacBook Pro is made of aluminum. So it's rock solid. Um, the ThinkPad is made of, on the lid, it's got some uh, carbon fiber actually in there and magnesium alloy. So it's got several types of material. The body itself, so the case, I'm talking about like the case here, is an ABS plastic. So the military uses that, it's very durable stuff. Um, you know, plastic might to some people mean cheap, but that's not all the case here. It's ABS plastic and very durable. Um, you get great protection with the lid, you push in, it's hard to cause ripples, you can, but you know, overall that's pretty good protection. Uh, the MacBook, it is uh, again, aluminum on the inside, so it's as many people know, a unibody aluminum crafted uh, case here. Um, you push it on the back, it can't cause any ripples, so it's well protected screen. Um, the hinge is very stiff and the hinge on the ThinkPad, you see these two metal steel hinges here, it's very stiff. You do get a spill-proof keyboard on the ThinkPad. The MacBook Pro does not promote such a feature, so that's one nice thing. Um, overall, I mean, these are both premium laptops, but they're well-built, they're not cheap at all, so uh, I think they're pretty even in that regard. Okay, let's take a look around at the ports you get on each of these laptops. So here I am with the MacBook Pro on the left hand side and you get the power connector here and then next is an Ethernet uh, jack um, for you know LAN. Um, next to that is a Firewire connector for fast data transfer and you have Thunderbolt which is uh, similar to uh, uh, the uh, th uh, Firewire in that you can use it for fast transfer also for display out. And then you have two USB 3.0 ports and then you have an SD card reader and then right here you have a headphone jack. Rotate around to the right side and all I have is the uh, optical drive right here. It's a DVD burner and the Kensington lock slot. So now let's take a look at the T430. On the left side you have VGA monitor out, headphone, then mini display port, then two USB 3.0 ports here. Rotate around on the right side, optical drive, express card, 34 millimeter slot, the USB slot, and the SD card reader down here, Kensington lock slot also at the back here. Now on the back side I have a vertically oriented uh, powered USB port, Ethernet adapter here, and then the power jack here. So different arrangement of ports, different layouts, Depending on your needs, one might be better than the other, but both are pretty well equipped, I, I think. Now, as far as performance goes between these two, it's going to be pretty even because both offer a Core i5 or Core i7 processor. So, um, just to test the overall performance of the system, I use Geekbench since that's a real easy to use benchmark on both the Mac OS and the Windows 7. Um, so the MacBook I have is the base level 13 inch, which comes with the Core i5 uh, 3210M, and it scored a 6763, or 6763, that's on the Mac. And then over on my T430, I have a slightly faster Core i5 processor, it's an updated 3320M, um, and it scored a 6961. Um, now, as far as uh, overall system performance, perceived performance, to me both seem pretty snappy. Um, opening applications is fast, multitasking, no problem. 1080p video, no problem. Um, so really, uh, I think on um, performance, uh, these two are even and really, uh, uh, as far as um, the difference between the OS is, you're just going to have to 
pick which laptop fits your software needs. So, for instance, if you're uh, if you're using Windows and you know you have to do uh, a lot of stuff, uh, maybe using CAD. Typically, uh, it's easier to find those programs for a Windows-based machine. Um, however, if you're just you know doing typical tasks and you use Adobe applications a lot, then the Mac OS would just be just fine. It's also, um, I know a lot of programmers use it for development because it has the Unix operating system built right in. So that's a real popular feature for the Mac OS and uh, I think will be another incentive to buy the MacBook Pro if you're, if you're a developer and shopping around for a laptop. Okay, so what I want to do here is demonstrate a couple things. First of all, uh, that I wanted to demonstrate the glossy nature of the MacBook Pro screen. So um, if you see me waving, that's because the screen on the MacBook Pro is glossy, and when it's dark, that means that it will reflect things that are um, in the background. Uh, meanwhile, if I'm waving over the T430, which I'm doing right now, you can't see it because it's a matte screen, so it reduces glare. Now, if you're in a business work environment, the matte screen is a better option because it reduces eye strain, you don't see reflections in the background, and it, it causes less headaches. Um, however, if you're working with colors or watching movies, the glossy screen around the MacBook Pro will make colors pop more, so in some respects it is desirable. Um, the next thing I wanted to do was uh, boot up both of these and see how long it takes me to get to uh, opening um, Google Chrome. So push the power buttons at the same time and here they both boot up. I want to see which one allows me to get to uh, opening Google Chrome faster so I can browse the web and um, whatnot. So I have uh, the Mac OS Mountain Lion on the MacBook Pro and Windows 7 Professional Edition on ThinkPad T430 on the right. So here we go, the T430 is almost ready, and, and the MacBook Pro is going to win, and they both have um, hard drives, so you know there's no SSD advantage for the MacBook Pro here. Um, so there we go, I'm still waiting for Windows 7 to load up, and here I am. And about 20 seconds after or 30 seconds, I'm still waiting for Chrome to open. There we go. So it took really an extra 30 seconds to open up there for the ThinkPad T430. So as uh, many are aware, the Mac OS is uh, faster booting up than Windows and you really need uh, um, SSD in the Windows machine to boot faster. Okay, now I'm just going to take some heat measurements in both the MacBook Pro and T430 to see where they get hot and just kind of compare how hot they get to each other. So in the left palm rest for the MacBook Pro, I got 81. The right palm rest, almost exactly the same. Uh, at the top right corner, 84, so slightly warmer towards the back there. And if I move towards the back right, 80 degrees. And right in the middle, 83. Meanwhile, over in the T430 on the left palm rest, it's a much warmer 90 degrees right now. And both of these have been basically idling, doing a bit of work, nothing much. Right palm rest, 77, so very cool over on the right side there. Top right, 78 or so. Top left, my heat vent is over here on the top left side, so 85, a little warmer. And then in the middle, 82. So cool everywhere except down here on the lower left side where the palm rest gets kind of warm on the ThinkPad T430. Um, the T430 fan is on the back right side over here. The MacBook Pro it doesn't have a visible fan or anything like that. It's just a passive cooling system. So uh, you know, it's a little more quiet than the T430 in my usage at least. So. Both are both are pretty good at keeping cool, and uh, both are fairly good on the noise aspect of uh, just you know not becoming overly noisy with the fan or anything as well. Let's check out the viewing angles of the screen. So I've got the MacBook Pro on the left, the T430 is on the right. Here we go. Um, okay, so right now they're both pointing straight forward, so we've got a perpendicular viewing angle. Now if I tilt them back. And again, the, uh, neither of these are IPS screens, so you're going to expect some color distortion. 
Uh, that's as far back as the MacBook Pro screen goes. So the ThinkPad goes all the way down 180 degrees. The MacBook Pro does not. So we'll just leave them as far back as the MacBook Pro will go. And you'll see that uh, basically they both distort in terms of colors. I don't know if I can call one better than the other. Uh, to be honest, uh, you know, maybe the MacBook Pro is slightly better in terms of viewing angles, but it's kind of it's kind of close. So I wouldn't say that's for sure. Um, now, if I tilt them forward, you'll see the colors wash out. They do wash out a little faster when tilted forward in the T430, and uh, they hold a little more true on the MacBook Pro at that angle. Now. Uh, one thing I should also mention is the screen resolutions on the MacBook Pro. It's a uh, uh, 1280 by 800, I believe. Um, on the ThinkPad, 1366 by 768. Um, you can get a 1600 by 900 HD plus screen on the ThinkPad T430. That is a that is an upgrade. Um, on the MacBook Pro, there is no upgrade option. And yeah, so it is 1280 by 800 um, default resolution on the MacBook Pro. So, um, you know, if you want the higher resolution, 1600 by 900, then the T430 does have that and is nice to have. Um, meanwhile, the 1280 by 800 on the MacBook Pro is pretty comfortable resolution. Text is a nice size. Um, you could just fit two windows on there at the same time and be comfortable reading them both. Um, but uh, it's not as easy to do if you had a higher res screen such as the 1600 by 900 on the T430. Let's just check out the keyboards and compare the, them on the MacBook Pro and uh, ThinkPad T430. So right away you'll notice on the, on the ThinkPad T430 you get a red pointing stick right in the middle there which is kind of a favorite of business users. You get the dual mouse buttons here so you've got um, these buttons here you use with the pointing stick or if you use the touchpad you can use these mouse buttons down here and then you have a scroll bar here. The MacBook Pro just has the giant touchpad so it's got all the multi-touch gestures um, that you're uh, probably familiar with by now. Um, it is probably the best touchpad in the industry and one of the larger ones too. So if you're a touchpad person then you'll like the MacBook Pro. If you're a pointing stick person you'll like the ThinkPad T430. Uh, both are full-size keyboards and um, both feel really nice. The ThinkPad is probably my uh, favorite keyboard, so uh, I, I do prefer that a little more. Uh, the top row of keys on the MacBook Pro, you'll see are actually, uh, first and foremost, media keys. So if I were to push the F6 button, that would brighten the screen. If I were to push the F11 button, it would raise the volume. Or excuse me, lower the volume. It's F12 to raise the volume. Uh, meanwhile, over on the ThinkPad T430, you have to hold down the FN and then push whatever um, coordinating uh, function button is to for the media action to take place. So slightly different there. Um, you know, overall, uh, oh, and one other thing I should mention is that uh, both have a backlight. The T430 is an option, upgrade option on there. It's about $40 to upgrade to. The Micro Pro, the backlight uh, keyboard is standard. Uh, I like that feature a lot. Um, the ThinkPad also offers a a light at the top of the screen that can shine down on the keyboard that is standard and comes with any configuration. So uh, overall both these keyboards are um, nice. I think the ThinkPad T430 keyboard is slightly better in terms of feel uh, but uh, the MacBook Pro on the other hand is still a nice keyboard to use. One thing I really prefer about the ThinkPad T430 is the fact you get a battery here that's removable. You can easily get to different components such as the memory, on a hard drive and uh, basically everything is easy to upgrade, easy to add. You can add a, a mini SSD and uh, it's just it's designed to be replaceable, upgradable, easy to do. Meanwhile on the MacBook Pro, you'll notice on the bottom it's very clean but that while it looks nice means you can't access anything. You can't replace the battery, can't make upgrades aftermarket, can't do anything really. So you know, if you're looking to get something you can tinker with, play with, and easily upgrade down the road, the MacBook Pro is not it. Uh, if you do want something like that, the ThinkPad T430 is a, is a good option for you. So I guess the final question between the ThinkPad T430 and the MacBook Pro is, which should I buy? Which one is better? 
And I hate to say one is definitively better because depending on your uses, one may fit you better than the other. So uh, I do like the ThinkPad T430 keyboard and the fact that it's easy to upgrade and replace the battery. Uh, I do like the MacBook Pro. It's you know, fast boot up, it's sleek looks. I think it just looks nicer than the T430, more attractive, it's more iconic, people know what you're using and you know, there is a certain consideration built in where you know, a cool factor where you would kind of like to think that people you know, know that you have this status symbol if you paid a bunch of money for it. Um, other thing that I should mention is the price. The ThinkPad T430 starts at around seven, eight hundred dollars with a budget configuration. So you can't argue that price. You get a great laptop for that price. The MacBook Pro Mimo starts at eleven ninety nine, so much more expensive. Uh, if you configure the T430 with the same specs as the MacBook Pro, a happier Core i5, um, it's probably going to be around eight, nine hundred dollars. So still cheaper. Um, I do like to think about T430 for the value proposition, upgradability, the keyboard, and just the, the great build quality. I would take it over the MacBook Pro, but of course, if you're familiar with Mac OS and you like all the features of the Mac and you really like the brand, then of course the MacBook Pro is a great choice for you too.